morning everyone Hannah El Francis here it's July 1st 2021 I'm in Spa Buena Vista Baja California Sur Mexico uh, I've got uh, what is it about um, nine o'clock a.m. my time so we had a bit of a hurricane well it became a tropical storm come through here a couple nights ago lightning thunder so loud tons of rain uh, all the streets are washed out. Um, <laughs> I'm here with my brother. We're having a great time. A lot of one-on-one -on -one time, reminiscing, talking about my dad. Um, it's been so awesome. You know, my, my brother um, struggled with alcoholism for a long time. He's about a year younger than me. And we've always been close, but um, he's, you know, kicked the drinking here about six months ago and had a massive awakening. Um, just like his own personal awakening and he's just turned into this light bringer um, so positive so loving so clear-headed uh, I mean it, it, it's like a rebirth guys it's exactly all the things we've been talking about but that's my brother who's quit drinking and um, is seeing life in a whole new way and I'm just so happy for him so he's six months sober now we're celebrating that and uh, just taking a quick break here's Rocco and the big ominous cloud behind him. Uh, you know, just a really, just a quick check-in. Um, you know, my, my guides here have been working with me on the idea of balance between my, what they said is my ability to say no and my willingness to say yes. My ability to say no and my willingness to say yes. So like many light workers, empaths, nurturers, the warriors out there taking care of everybody else and um, you know, working hard on behalf of everybody around us and quite oftentimes putting ourselves second or third or fourth. Um, I'm coming into this place of sovereignty, of freedom, of choice, understanding this and trying to reconcile when I say no that's not me being a bad person. That's not me being a jerk. It's not me um, being inconsiderate. I mean, I'm really struggling with this stuff. And these are these are seemingly kind of small things, but I'm, I'm realizing today, yesterday, just how important this is. My ability to say no and my willingness to say yes. And my ability to be able to articulate my, my needs, my wants, my desires with gentleness and love. What is my truth? Being able to own that. And then secondly, once I make that decision and I've, I've spoken my truth, then it's the time to stop worrying about it. <laughs> once you make a decision and you've made it from your heart, not from a place of fear, but in a place from a place of knowing, let go of the decision, you know, do your thing, make your decision, act on it, whatever that is, and then let go. Quit second guessing myself, quit second guessing what the other person's gonna feel like or how they're gonna react. I mean, I've done this my whole life, guys. Done this my whole life. And so what is that balance? When I tell somebody no, or I articulate a need for myself that's in opposition to what somebody else might want or need or their opinions, how do I do that with gentleness and love but speak my truth? Um, so there's a balance here that my guides have said that I'm kind of coming into and it's with my divorce and all kinds of stuff, right? This is all heating up. Um, what's that balance between my ability to say no and my willingness to say yes? I thought that was really cool and I hope that helps somebody, helps one of you out there today as you go about your day or if you're struggling with a decision or, um, you know, you know, we're, we've got a tough road, guys, and it's important. What we're doing is important. Um, I'll post a picture of my brother and me, and uh, you can see see him. Uh, just having a good time, guys, getting through things and making it happen. I wish you all the best. I hope you're doing well, and I love you. All right, guys, bye.